everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just want to interrupt this video. I don't know what happened. I hope it is not like it for day one of the vlog. There's two days in this vlog. I do apologise, but I don't know what's going on. My video is really like jumpy, so I've just like I'm just gonna delete the first bit. The intro was jumpy, so I do apologise. Basically what I said is comment one thing down below which is good about your day. So whenever I watch Family Fizz videos, they always do it and it's a great way to make you like think about the positives in life. So what I said that what one good thing about my day was, that's a hard thing to say, was that I went for a run. I woke up, I had some energy, I went for a nice run, which for those who know me, you would know that that's rare, but I felt good after it. So that was a very big positive for me. And I don't think I said much else after. <laughs> Ignore the mess. Turn the light off because it seems to be a bit better. You have to forgive me, it's going to take me a while to get back into the swing of things for filming. But we are off into Abergavenny this morning. It's like 10 o'clock now because we haven't been for a while. We need to get a few bits from the shops. And also we said that we could also go into a cafe, get some bits to go and go and sit up by the castle that they have. Just like a nice little walk and just something fun to do. If I film anything, it's probably just going to be like more scenery stuff and like from where we've been sitting and having our snacks. But so that's just my doodrum. So I have not vlogged much today, I do apologise, we haven't actually been home that long and I was really tired after being in the shops and having any so I'm now going to cook tea, we're having risotto so I will show you what it looks like just because I know then I've got something else for you to see. Well we've got sweet corn growing, we didn't think it was going to grow and then snails came but we moved it to the kitchen and it's growing and there's more. We may have four sweet corn plants, we're so excited. Good morning guys, look a bit of a mess, it is morning. I apologise that I never actually filmed much in the last section as I did put something at like the start, well I will. Um, just to explain, I've been super busy, I will explain after, once I'm dressed probably and look a bit more presentable, I'll explain why I've taken a long break but I thought I could film the other day and it turned out, yeah I didn't actually manage to do it. <laughs> So I do apologise but hopefully today I will get a video for you and much will happen, we'll see. But hope you enjoy, again I'm really sorry but stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm dressed now, I'm ready for work and I'm going to have my breakfast now. So I tend to work 11 till 3 which I have said before and that's fine but it means I don't have a lunch. So I leave, I start at 11 so I need to be work at 10.45. So I leave home about 9.45, it's currently 10 past 9. I'm sort of on time for this morning, I felt like I didn't really do much this morning when I was up. I could have filmed, but I didn't. So, I do apologise. I'm just wasting my time, but to be honest, it's quite nice just to relax before it. But it means that I have two breakfasts. I sound greedy. So when I first wake up, I got up about 7 o'clock this morning, just after. And I have a cup of tea and half a bowl of honey hoops, which are honestly my favourite cereal right now. I'll show you. So these are the gluten free ones because as I said in a previous video, I think that's gone up, is I gone gluten free, I'm pretty sure that's gone up. So I have these or Morrison's, I think I do prefer Morrison's but these are just as nice so I always look forward to those. Sometimes I have them in the evening as well as a nice treat. But my second breakfast which I have now, so by the time that's cooked it's going to be like but it's just before half nine, so a quarter an hour before I leave, so I've got time to eat it. It's scrambled egg on toast because that's the only thing that gets me through. What time do I leave? So say half nine and then leave work, finish at three. Like five hours without food, which for me who has a fast metabolism is a very long time. And it means I have to eat a lot. So I have two pieces of bread for my scrambled egg and a big egg, so I just have more food. But I thought I'd just show you how I make mine. I mean, a scrambled egg at the end of the day. I promise I'm not greedy. I just eat a lot. I 
guys, that was the most stressful journey in I've ever had to work. So, oh my god, I need to put my jewelry on. Um, so I left home, realised I put my wrong jeans on, got three minutes like down, the, two, three minutes down, had to turn around, pass two people to get changed, go past them again. <laughs> and like literally that added like 10 minutes to the journey by the time you get to the point where you've got to turn around you get back home and then you get to that same point it's like 10 minutes so i stuck my jeans over because they were faded and i couldn't get away with them because i'm like it's gone a bit too far and then i got stuck behind like, so many bikes and lorries and it was crazy it was like the closest i'd come to like hyperventilating in a way from stress because it was just so much stress and i didn't know what to do but it's okay i got here i actually got like five minutes before I need to leave so it's all good but I just always like to be like I always leave in advance like luckily I did because this show today that I do need to leave in advance so yeah I'm just glad I made it it's safe I'm all ready now <laughs> like I just needed to take a breather it's all good I'm all ready for work things like that do throw me a lot especially when I like to have a set routine and that was definitely not in my routine but it's okay i just keep telling myself it's okay i like i made it everything's good i've got two minutes so i need to leave the car so i can have time to relax sort of like put this to the back of my mind now and be like you know what we'll move on from this but i will see you when i finish my shift now and hopefully there won't be any more stressful situations just finished my shift now so i'm going to the car it is a really nice day it's so warm but yeah i'm gonna go have some snacks i think because i'm hungry i ate the whole bag but i got these for my snacks they're so good can't open them do my hair one minute that's better it's still the same day by the way i just changed after work so i was just about to tell you about the most important part of the video why you clicked on this video why i decided to take a break from youtube and my camera failed so this video will be a bit jumpy just because i'm gonna have to keep turning it off just so i don't have to say all the sentences all over again one of the biggest reasons why i had to take a break there was lots of contribution factors as to why I took a break, but the main one is uni. So I have finally finished uni for the year. It has been such a relief now it's all done. I've got one more year, then hopefully I'm fully qualified. Fingers crossed, I pass. I think I become a psychologist, possibly a child psychologist. That's the unit that I've been taken as optional. Not optional, but like the ones that you have to choose. I'm not too sure until I speak to a careers person, I don't quite know, but either one I'm grateful for. And then obviously I can work on to further career developmental paths and all of that stuff that did not make sense. <laughs> yeah, all of my assignments just came at once and... I went that way. But yeah, they just all came at once. I had one week where I had a very big assignment to do, the week after I had a fairly big assignment to do, and then I had to do another one about two weeks later and this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday just gone I had a three day exam, it was supposed, apparently you could do it in three hours but you could have the three days if you needed them, I needed those three days, no way could I do 2,000 words, it was like two assignments, 1,000 words each, no way could I do that in three hours, no, I mean you're supposed to like plan beforehand but it was complicated, I'm not going to go into it, but anyway you didn't have to plan beforehand but yeah, it's not three hours so that took a lot of time a lot of stress and i had a week off from work as like a holiday booked off sort of thing so i just wanted to really just enjoy that week off and i did miss filming that is why there's a random clip at the start of the video because i wanted to film but then things happened and i didn't <laughs> to be honest i needed a break it was all getting too much for me between uni work work in general filming editing uploading just the stresses of daily life really so the week was definitely that i had off of work was definitely good it helped my anxiety a lot it practically went the final reason is one that i've really been wanting to say on camera and wanted to talk about but 
I couldn't because it just didn't feel right or appropriate. So for those who know me know that I had my dog TJ put down. This was a couple of weeks ago. It's not really something that I shared just because he he wasn't in the videos for much and it's hard to talk about. We've got the ashes back now but I just felt like I needed to explain why I had to take a break and why things have been so difficult for me and all of this put together was just so much that I just couldn't carry on the way I was going and needed that break. To be honest it was a very good break. I miss vlogging so much which just proves how much I love to do it when I wanted to pick up the camera but it was really not appropriate and I needed to take that break. I had to force myself really because I just wanted to film. <laughs> Apologies if this is shaking, I'm on my bed so it may go like that. <laughs> Basically with TJ, as you know in previous videos his back legs had not had pretty much stopped working he couldn't feel them and when we got home one day he w after work he was fine he went up some steps fine he had a drink and everything was normal and then the next thing we know his legs come out of joint we believe we don't know he was completely oblivious it was his back leg which he can't feel either of them anyway he couldn't so that was like stuck out a bit I had to help him walk because he was adamant he was going to play with his toy which shows that he wasn't in pain, which was awesome. But we phoned the vet and was like, something's not right. We need him to be seen. So they were like, right. We didn't even say we need him to be seen. We are like, what do we do? He was like, bring him straight down. It was a decision we knew we had to make. But we just thought that we'd have a few more months at least. Like, we've been saying that we may not have had him for Christmas. And we had him till May 22nd, I believe it was. We had him put down. So we did have him for a long time. He was 13 and a half. He survived a dog attack, he's come over so many things. He had fits which caused him to be on medication for that, he had medication for pain, like he had achieved so much, he'd come over so much. But it was the right thing to do, we all know that and it, he's not in pain any longer. But it's definitely been a lot of hard few weeks. <laughs> that did not make sense. As much as it's not really like positive chat at the end, I mean it's not positive at all. But I needed to explain to you what's been going on in my life to catch you up. And also to say that the next one or two videos that I upload, I will put a message at the start of each, are ones that I filmed before I took a break but couldn't have time to edit them and upload them and it would have just been very random videos. So they will be up. My upload schedule will be back to normal two videos a week so I'm so excited to make all this content for you going to be so much fun I'm going to be prepared I'm going to get ahead of myself because that's one thing that caused me anxiety was that I was not prepared so I will be now and I cannot wait I'm so excited so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you still are I hope you enjoyed this video though I know it's not exactly positive but to be honest that's life it's not always positive I try to put positive content out there but some videos just aren't going to be so I hope you appreciate that can't wait to make more videos for you, subscribe to the channel and I will see you very soon. Bye!